hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're new if you're not new welcome back I am D Christine and I am on a journey to use pretty and productive planning to manifest a beautiful life so if that's something you're interested in go ahead and click the subscribe button and we can do it together so in today's video I am continuing my monthly setup this is what the monthly setup looks like as of now. And so I wanted to get my dashboard set up. I got some things happening with this page. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. But this page is fairly easy to set up for me because I have not been in the mood to cut no type of washi. I'm not trying to do nothing whimsical or extra. I'm just trying to get everything down. So if you want like a simple kind of set up idea for how you can get this together real quick. Go ahead and grab your planner, grab something to drink and meet me back here. So if you've been following me for any length of time, then you know your girl is a lefty. So this little tilt needs to happen. Hopefully you can see everything that I'm getting ready to do here. So let me just show you actually, before I get started, what the last couple of months have been looking like um, for my monthly overview. So this is what I'm aiming for. I just like the fact that I'm just using some functional stickers you know, just to highlight some key areas. No, I did not do any journaling. Um, I was gonna get some pictures from everyone and put it on the spread that has not happened yet. Um, but this page is very simple for me to lay out my goals, the birthdays for the month, what I'm currently doing, a little space for gratitude and an affirmation. So this video should be on the quick side. I'm gonna go ahead and get this part set up and then we'll talk. So this is the basic setup and I just like this because you know I like the idea of a currently section it's a cute way to fill the space I just don't feel like I need to have like a whole like elaborate spread for it or like a whole page but it's been really cute like being able to kind of go back hey, this is so not straight being able to go back and like look and see oh what was i doing what was i reading what was i you know watching well not reading because i i actually read a lot more like articles than whole books and i think the last book series that i read was probably twilight <laughs> years ago and so i haven't really been putting that there because then i'm just gonna keep pressuring myself to feel like i need to read something and that's not really how i take in written content so anyway so let's talk about goals so my first goal is to start a meal plan and i am working on i am working on doing like a mid-year kind of check-in on where i'm at with my planner quote unquote stack you know like calling it a planner stack sounds crazy to me but you know still i wanted to like give a little update on that um let me see i also wanted to do at least a three-day fast before the month is out and so i haven't mentioned this but i'm using bw stickers from planner kate to get all of this done of course everything will be in the description box 
so you can go ahead and check it out if you like how these look in the meantime let me see if i can grab a little icon to represent my um my fast okay so this should be good and i'm using all the same color icons like this light blue that's cute then also i need to find a company to haul away some furniture is just easier if i get somebody else to do it so i'm just gonna use one of these like recycling stickers this should be just fine and then i need to book a lash appointment so i walked into this spot and the lady was very nice she was like oh you know I don't have a lash person on staff, but you should go to this person. She's great. She does good work. Here's her Instagram. Here's her address. Here's her phone number. Like, she really hyped her up. So, I was like, okay. So, I'm going to check her out this month. Let me see if I can get my... Get my white out to cooperate. That's cute. And then this month I have some birthdays. Summertime is like high time for birthdays. Like that's totally my birthday season from May 1st to like September 30th or October 30th. Actually, yeah. From May 1st to September 30th is like high time. And then I still have some Scorpios in my life and all of that, but it definitely slows down. So usually like in the summertime, I'm doing a lot of gatherings. I'm doing a lot of like meeting up with the girlies, you know. So I have. I have a lot of birthdays coming up this month. I think I have four birthdays. So I'm going to go ahead and put those down. And I probably should scoop this up a little bit. And then for the affirmation, I just picked a very simple affirmation this month. I used to put it on like the divider for the months but and then, and then I used to have my YouTube schedule here but I just I got other plans for the YouTube schedule we're gonna talk about it so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in because there's some noise happening outside this is the perfect time for me to get into this so I can block that out all right so very very simple you guys very simple because listen like it took me long enough to do this and this is what i feel like i can manage right now and this is where balancing you know form and function really comes into play because it's cute enough it already has a design on it i always love how these come out so i'm digging it so now um currently so currently, I watched two movies that were really, really good. 
I watched The Beekeeper and I watched Oppenheimer. And Oppenheimer is so dope. Like the storytelling is just like really, really interesting. I was like, it kind of reminded me of The Imitation Game. If you've ever seen that movie, I really enjoyed it. And it also The Beekeeper because Jason Statham, okay? I just, I cannot. So that one was also, um, I had a little bit of, I felt a little triggered by that movie because I think if you have, if you've ever had a grandparent or something like that, if you've seen that movie, then you know what I'm talking about. You ever had a family member that just wasn't, you know, hit to things and them being, you know, taken advantage of is just, is, is just a trigger for me. Okay. I was just like, no, maybe think of my grandma. So those are two movies I watched. I'm also playing my usual video games whenever I have the chance. That is my self-care and stress relieving activity. And then um, I have a song in mind and I'm gonna write the name of the song, but I can't remember the artist. She's an underground artist and her voice is like silk, you guys. So I've been jamming out to her. Literally, I'm definitely like the person that has one song on repeat till I go numb to it. And this is kind of like the soundtrack of my life for a couple of weeks. And that's kind of what it's been with this particular song. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. And honestly, I only have to get the gratitude set up. And then this page is done. Simple enough, simple enough. So for down here, I've been kind of just leaving some room for gratitude. So I can just write down a couple of moments that, you know, really touched my heart <laughs> in the month. And I like everything kind of being on one page. Oh man, I cannot wait until I'm in the new planner where this is on the other side and the blank page is on the right side. I just feel like that just makes more sense because at least in America, we, lead, we read from left to right. And so I'm really interested to see how that, that's going to change how I look at these pages. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I mean, this is so uneven, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but maybe I'll throw something here. I don't know. Um, I have the seasonal sheets from Erin Condra and I usually don't use those. I just feel like they're hard to get up and I like to be able to change my mind. But I might put something here because this is like way over there. Anyway, okay, so onto this page. So if you remember, if you remember back in May, I set this up with the best of intentions. And I was like, yep, gonna totally do it. Mm-hmm, this is gonna keep me on track. And it did for a while. This definitely worked. But May also like completely blew up on me in ways that I was just like, what? You know, like I had technical issues. I had to open up a support ticket. Um, there was a couple moments where I didn't have any power. Like there was a problem with my my um editing software it was registering my subscription so i wasn't able to edit i was like oh my gosh so um so i had all these ideas and i do plan on executing all of these ideas let me know in the comments which of these interests you the most because i will definitely start with that and then this is like these are like ideas that are not attached to any particular month it's just a general kind of brainstorm kind of thing and then this side is more like what I would like to accomplish every single month. So this will technically repeat for July and August and September. So, um, so let's say I was to go back here, um, June, did I do June setup? Boy, I think I did do June setup. Let me see. I have to go back and check because now I don't remember. June budget didn't happen. Week, weekly plan with me did not happen. June reflections did not happen. This is my birthday month. I should have known. I played myself, but it's fine. 
and then a mid-year check-in that is still gonna happen and I still feel like we're kind of in the middle so what I think I'm going to do because I did get a calendar for this but I feel like maybe I might want to save it and instead I think I would actually um I think I will actually kind of like use this page for more like um brain dumping for future ideas and just call it a day so I don't really have a plan for how I was going to execute that page but I will put like a placeholder here <laughs> And I will just put this here, you guys, just to remind me what I said I was going to do. And then what I think I'm also going to do, besides straighten this, because I can't seem to put down anything straight, is I think I'm also going to kind of go back to May and copy and bring these forward like I would any other to-do list. So let me actually Maybe I'll, we, maybe we can do that together. And yep, I have some of these dots here. So I think I, I will actually carry forward some of these items and let's take it from there. Okay, so that's everything. I think I left one or two behind. Okay, so I left over using digital and paper playing together and I didn't carry over the mid-year check-in because I feel like that doubles as the planner stack updates. And that's it for right now. So, I'm gonna leave this as is. I know it's just like so plain. It's so plain, but it's it's what I need right now. And I can actually check off the July plan with me. I also can check off the July dashboard. That's this video. And actually see where I am with everything. So let me go ahead and smooth this out. Okay, so this is my setup for my July monthly dashboard. Thank you so much for joining me. If you really enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe me for more pretty and productive planner content. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram over at Honey Style Enjoy. And other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.